it was terrible. It was like slow motion after it started happening. I just couldn't wait for it to be over. Even though it only took a couple of milliseconds to happen, and I could not wait for the crash to be over. When the boat came to rest, I was looking at the crowd. I was looking at 30,000 people looking at me, and I could not breathe. But I knew my family was up there in the, in the watching me, so I gave them a thumbs up, you know, and let everybody know I was alive at least. Lifelong Colwich resident Joel Weber was in intensive care a year ago today after a vicious crash in the world finals of the Top Alcohol Hydro Series in Arizona. This weekend, less than one year later, Weber, his team, friends, and family were celebrating a world championship. It was a very emotional thing for me to get back in the boat again and, and sit out there. And, uh, you know, I was in the same lane at the same racetrack, same everything, sitting out there, uh, you know, remembering what happened the last time I was in a boat. This time, things went better much better. Weber set a world record in speed and elapsed time and took home the world championship, the second of his career. One thing that stays constant is physics and uh, what worked 12 years ago works today and uh, the guys you know I raced against 12 years ago they had a thing when we showed up to the race they knew they were racing for second place and and we got that confident you know we were a little bit cocky but we, we had a reason to be and, and uh, when we pulled out of the races this year in 2010, they were all shaking their heads thinking, oh man, these guys are back, here we go again, you know, so. The secret to my success in boat racing was being smart enough to surround myself with people to get me there. And, uh, you know, I have, and these guys are just, just great.